Ello Gaze. Today we are doing a list of top 5 monkey. Número 5. Monkey at. Número 4. Monkey Drive. What is this horseshit? Hello, my fellow commanders. It is I, uh, um, the current vice president. Oh, I'm being told I'm the current president. Well, how about that? Oh, dear Lord, this sleepy Joseph fuck is becoming more of an embarrassment by the minute. If he can't even remember that he is the president, does this mean I win by default? It's with that, though, that I wish to personally endorse my favorite knee, Kay. You know her. You love her. It's leader. This sweet little dynamite gal is the apple of every commander's eye. She takes her time to help build communities. This narcoleptic uh, pedo is actually going to start a campaign for leader. Housing of all girls, Rupi deserves a new and, skin. Uh, this is a complete outrage, a fraudulent down. use of government funds to sway the masses to making yet another women. poor choice Forging in their insignificant in lives. I knew I should have put out an endorsement for Rupi. This won't stand. Where the fuck is my phone at? If I find out that Obunga had anything to do with this, I'll have his husband's protein shakes replaced with month-old moose piss. A bit slower and unfocused today, beloved. I have something urgent that was just brought to my attention, my dear wife. It's unfortunate that I can't fully enjoy this little assassination session of yours today. You wound me with your lack of focus. Taking your fortune without doing it at your peak will make my victory sour. What is it that has you so flustered, beloved? A certain senile zombie thief has made a play to try and bolster the people's decision to overtake my rupee and Nikkei. Oh. Nerd shit. Seriously, beloved, if you weren't so interesting to try to murder and ridiculously rich, I'd have dishonorably killed you years ago. Whatever, I guess even men have to have stupid hobbies. If you'll excuse me, I have some shopping to attend to and plans to concoct for your future demise at my hands. Go enjoy yourself. Love you too, babe. Barack, I swear to Christ, if you had anything to do with encouraging or helping that useless old fuck to endorse leader over Rupee... No. Whoa, 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 what the hell are you even talking about? Here, check this out. Hello, my fellow commanders. It is I, uh, um, the current vice president. Oh, I'm being told I'm the current president. Well, how about that? Your current Dude, president, what the hell? Joseph Biden. Okay, so I, I didn't have a thing to do with uh, this. How the hell does he still think he's my VP? Season. Well, that's good to hear. If I did help him with this, we'd have endorsed Privuti, not leader. We all know that she's the best in the game and deserving a free skin to help with that god-awful skin that was released for her. Wait, what? You would have had Privuti endorsed and not Rupi? How can you even endorse a government lapdog like her? Wait, look who I'm talking to. Oh, shut the fuck up. How can you even justify giving Rupi a skin when she got a whole altar version to use? During one of the best community events we've seen so far, Rupi has been far more than compensated for her existence. 
Fuck this. Get the Pharaoh's brother in this call. I'm going to expertly debate the both of you on how you are both wrong. And the fact that you think either of those two are worth a damn is fake news. Your arguments are about to be as bankrupt as your past business ventures were. Fake news, Barack. I'm an expert in the art of the deal. The best around, none greater. I will be remembered throughout time as the most accomplished businessman with the most beautiful dong in history. Sup, bitches? Sleepy Joe, your decrepit, fucktarded ass has some explaining to do. I literally just got in this call. What the hell are you on about? Joe, you were campaigning for leader during this free skin voting semi-annual celebration event. Don't you think that's a bit corrupt to use your influence as the president of the United States to get people to vote for your favorite? I have no idea what you're talking about. Have you taken your dementia pills today? Where's your staffer that's supposed to be on top of this? I can't say if I uh, have or haven't taken any medication today. For that matter, I don't even um, remember making any campaign for leader, although it doesn't sound like a bad idea. Uh, I should probably do that so people know to uh, vote for the best Nikkei in the game. For fuck's sake, Joe, here, have a look at this. Hello, my fellow commanders. It is I, uh, um, the current vice president. Oh, I'm being told I'm the current president. Well, how about that? Oh, Your wow. President, hey, I'm Joseph the president, Biden. guys. I, I thought I was the vice uh, president. Come Barack, I can honestly say that you hanging out with Joe is having serious detrimental effects on his mindset and his sense of time. Don't blame me for his mental state. Trust me when I say he wasn't really there when he was my vice back in the day. Why do you think everything fell to me to get shit done? At least your VP made an effort to do things during your tenure. So wait, uh, there's no death matches that are going to take place? How, uh, how unfortunate. The streets should run red with the fallen of those who go against leader. I'm sincerely not surprised with how the cities of our fair country have ended up with that kind of mentality of yours, Sleepy Joe. God forbid someone try to go get a Coke from the corner store without having to be accosted by quote unquote peaceful protesters that wanted to burn the place down. What's happening with the cities? Donald, stop confusing him for a minute. I doubt I could confuse him any more than what he does when he wakes up every day and realizes that he has to live another day. Oh, wow. Hey, guys, did you see this great video that I put together for leader? Such a dynamite gal. She should totally win this free skin vote. Why the hell would I vote for Grandma Moses when we could all be voting for the one girl that actually deserves to have the skin, Rupee? How does a Twitch thought deserve to have a free skin? Doesn't she have an alternate version that you guys pointed out that came out during Christmas? That's what I was saying. Rupee already got not only a whole new skin, but a whole new kit to use as well, effectively making her character one of the most versatile characters to date. The only one that's considerably better would be Anne, although I would say it makes sense for her since that was an upgrade into SSR territory. Her having an alternate shouldn't count. That was a special limited time thing. Who knows if acquiring her Christmas version will ever return. There's quite a lot of people that don't have her since the game was still fairly new when they decided to do the Christmas event, but plenty do have her regular version. So bringing her Christmas version into this discussion is a moot point. It's not something that can be ignored though, Donnie. Rupee wasn't an SR like Anne. Sure, it made sense to give Anne an SSR version, even if it was limited time, but it at least opened up the possibility that other SR ladies could get some love to climb up into the big leagues. Rupee didn't need to have a whole new kit and a look given to her. If anything, they should have just made this a skin of itself to use with her, like what they did with Emma. But they went to the extreme and showed that sometimes you could have a brand new version of an existing character, not an upgrade, not a whole new character that uses that kit, an existing Nikkei that can perform past what she's shown to be able to do. Rupee is so far the only character that can technically be said to operate at a level that no other Nikkei could. Can't Rupee technically be used twice on the same team because of this? She could be your first and second burst rounds. Never seen any other girl do that. Your choice is already too OP, as is Don. She has enough. All I'm hearing is a bunch of jealous ass whining from a bunch of Democrats that refuse to hold up merit for a Nikkei 
I didn't realize I was dealing with communist China here, where we punish the best who have proven themselves. Rupee has put in the work, both in stats and in her character, to more than earn this free skin. She works hard to keep an honest business afloat, while also entertaining the good folk of the Ark. A Nikkei after my heart, if I've ever seen one. All I'm um, seeing is a slutty McSlut slut that needs to be the uh, future Kim Kardashian in order to feel good about herself. I thought these ladies were meant to defend humanity, not designed for robotic social media prostitution. You're going to tell me that a, that a war bot is spending its time blowing cocks out behind a future Burger King dumpster to get a Whopper Junior meal and not blowing up raptures to further the freedom of humanity? Shut the fuck up, Sleepy Joe. Your opinion hardly matters when you choose one based on how much of a five-year-old girl they look like. Rupi contributes greatly to the war effort by not only by supporting the war effort through her business, but by being on the front lines with one of the most solid Burst 2 units you can have. She has the coveted 20-second time limit, making her always quick and ready on the draw to drop her mighty heel down on those who are beneath her. And she is able to easily buff the team with a heavy attack boost and a critical boost off her regular skill. Oh, sure, a worthless crit boost that doesn't matter much in this game, and an attack boost that comes with the stipulation that she has to be at max stacks before it ever works. She could be dead or the fight over with before that ever happens. What, her whore powers require her to do five pole dances before she can actually perform a lap dance? I still won't let it go that she already has quite possibly the best alternate skin deal in the game. A skin that gives you an entirely new kit. I, I would like to see that more often in this game, even if they're a limited time kind of things. Okay, Barack, you want to keep throwing that in my face? Fine, then, based off her extra skin, for lack of a better term, she more than earns the right to have that free skin because she was key in helping sweet little Anne break her daily amnesia and have a miracle for Christmas and quite possibly the best event so far in this game. Son of a bitch. I forgot about her crucial role in taking care of sweet baby Angel Anne. But seriously, Don, who would have thought that a streamer stripper would be the one to help with this? You had motherly Nikkei's right there in Pepper, Diesel, and Ludmilla to name a few that would have fit that role better than Rupi. And yet she puts on her best Victoria's Secret lingerie, and all of a sudden she's the best mom around that can channel a miracle. The only miracle I saw was how well those straps held together without loosening up or falling off whenever she was shooting a rifle. In my day, a young lady would never be seen um, going outside in such attire. That was left for the home, for the husband to see. If any lady even thought about wearing that uh, outside, we'd tar and feather her, then proceed to set her on fire. God forbid you take a woman that looks like this to meet your parents. If she was showing more than her ankles, she could be drowned in the local lake. And then you had to go and stone her family for producing such a slut. Jesus Christ, Joe, a bit extreme, don't you think? Nah, they were asking for it. We understood that freedom of expression came with responsibilities. Sure, you could be your own uh, person even in those days, but it was the responsibility of all the good people to uh, purge the streets of the harlots before they tried to take your children in the night to bake into cookies. Or worse, teach them how to become harlots. And yet, look at the world we live in today. I blame the hippies, cocaine, rhythmic Latin dancing, and the irresistible draw of horny Vietnamese women that spoke in broken English. We should have kept things simple as a culture and stayed with dancing the June bug and enjoying the Dick Van Dyke show. While Joe goes on a trip, hypothetically speaking, down memory lane. You honestly think he's remembering things correctly? Do you want to actually find out? But shut up for a minute while I explain why privity is more than deserving of getting the free skin. She already has a skin Barack, as laughably worthless as it is. And that's my point, Donnie. She deserves a redemption from the lackluster one she was given. It wasn't terrible by any means, but all us privity mains got shafted when they were dropping banger skins like Helms or Senti. Not everyone can be born a winner, Barack, and privity proves that. Privity is more than capable of proving her worth. She is a master tactician on the battlefield, helping to suppress the enemy forces by buffing up the team with attack boosts and faster reloads while letting the hellfire rockets fly. 
If they don't die, they're stunned for a good three seconds and will be dealt with accordingly. She's essentially your artillery, air support, battlefield commander, and cleanup kill squad all wrapped into an adorable little package. Not surprising that you would want to back a war criminal. I'm sure every burst three that she does gives you a chubby thinking back to your days in Yemen. That fake ass Hatsuna Miku should be thrown in the rehabilitation center with the rest of the criminal filth for her cavalier use of drone strikes. This is why we don't leave important military decisions or capabilities to a businessman or OnlyFans model. Prevuti has rose high through the ranks of the government to be a constant and respected leader of troops. She is such a strong Nikkei that she finds use in any mode that she is in. She can hold her own in standard campaign fights, boss battles, the daily grind fights, and PvP. Having her not on your team is not only a discredit to any player's advancement in this game, but a clear sign of the player having a learning disability that they can't even feel the proper team. Uh, sounds like the evil version of leader. Leader builds things and tries to help the community, while Privati sounds like she uh, just wants to destroy everything after having a uh, bad discussion with the commander. How would you feel if your wife had access to drones and wanted to treat you like a Yemeni wedding on the whim of a bad day? Privati isn't a hero or a good person. She's a liability and quite a few lawsuits waiting to happen for the central government. You act as if you haven't done anything that shouldn't have your ass in jail, Joe. Times of war call for tough decisions. Privuti is willing to make those decisions at the behest of the people of the Ark for their freedom. Besides that, Privuti is in pretty much everyone's roster due to her being in the event giveaway for the game, so everyone would benefit from her having a great skin. Everyone gets to use her for free, and now they get a free skin to boot. You can't argue the value of free on free. Of course she's free. Uh, who would give out high quality things for free? I'd be more than happy to give you or anyone else a free headache, inducing woman for their use. Speaking of either of you interesting in taking this Stormy Daniels chick off my shoulders. She has quite a lot of miles on her, but I'm told she still is a good ride. No one's interested in your sloppy, wait, uh, sloppy 534ths. Fuck, I don't know what to say here. Just imagine if each thrust that was done into her by each dude that she has been with is how far she would have to walk. What are you implying, Don? I'm just saying the, uh, the dumb broad would probably have to walk the distance of the continental United States based on the amount of pipe that was thrusted into her cooch cave. I just threw up a little bit in my mouth. Ah, so she could technically uh, do a whore tour of the States. How fun. Who says she hasn't already? And there goes my lunch. God damn already, Donnie, could you have had some form of self-respect of where you put your dick in? I know everyone says they would like to know what it's like to screw a porn star, but there are limitations to how far that should go. Are you sure you don't have like 16 different STDs at this point? I cannot confirm nor deny that that question, other than I was informed that I may have had something that can only be found in dolphins. I really didn't know how to take that information, though I have been cleared as healthy now, at least I hope so. Wait, you're not saying that she... Barack, I think your pure-hearted soul shouldn't ask questions to go down rabbit holes that you're not mentally prepared for. Uh, you know, fair point. I'll just uh, leave it be then. So they still have those back room shows down at the San Diego SeaWorld, Donald. I remember back when they began those back in the summer of 73, I tell you, uh, those uh, hippie chicks back then would do about anything if you gave them enough cocaine to fix their habit. Quite an interesting show to boot. God damn it, Sleepy Joe, learn to shut the fuck up. What? I thought we were better sharing the joys of human and... Hey Joe, there's ice cream behind you. Oh, yay! I love Choco Chocolate Chip ice cream. Thanks, Donnie. I don't think I needed to know where that was headed. To be fair, I don't think I needed to know either. 
Hey, you lying son of a bitch. There was no ice cream anywhere. Are you sure you didn't see any? As sure as I was making that endorsement for leader, if anything, she deserves the free skin even more now, knowing that lying assholes like you don't get it for their floozy of a pick. Joe, we all know you only chose her was because of her childlike appearance. Barack, she is by far the best in the game to have. Uh, she has done a lot for the community in the arc and the community of the game. She's arguably the best to have in the burst one slot. I don't question her usefulness, Joe. I question how many people don't have her. You leave it to a few elitists that were blessed with a lucky pull, yet there are so many people out there that complain about not even seeing her come up once, despite having her in their wish list. I'd also like to point out that if she was so great at her job, wouldn't she have fixed the plumbing in the Nikkei's barracks by now? For a genius in engineering, she sure sucks at repairing what should be a simple job for someone like her. Well, I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't realize that taking her attention away from building crucial infrastructure and combat defenses was second place to turning a wrench to getting hot water. Uh, uh, let's watch a bunch of people die from lack of proper defensive and basic need measures just to get a hot tub working. Like you would care about that? If you did, Ohio wouldn't be a chemical wasteland now, would it? How about sending Leader over there to fix the railway system? See what I can do. How about I send her to your home and she builds you a gym to work off that fat ass you have? Reloading. Still, Joe, she isn't a part of everyone's roster. Privati, on the other hand, was able to join up with everyone who's played this game, given that she's a part of the day-by-day -day event that launched with the game. Privatee is so special that the developers wanted everyone to have her right off the bat and have her carry teams right into the end game. Privatee couldn't carry a conversation, let alone a team. You know who does carry teams? Leader. Who can deny how much work she puts in on the battlefield to carry commanders through boss fights, PvP battles, and hard mode content? She's undeniably the greatest to have on any team comp and you would deny her a free skin just because you have sympathy for a J-pop model that would commit mass genocide. Your elitism clouds your judgment here, Joe. That and your fetish for smelling little girls? Don't think I don't know of your true intentions for putting her into a different outfit just so you can treat little leader as a sniffing sample section of smells? It's not a fetish, it's a respect for the best hardworking little gal in this game. The one that could fix this Poor old broken heart after the trauma I experienced with Marion. May God rest her soul. Leader couldn't fix a sandwich. Rupee should get the skin. End of story. Someone get my public relations team on the line and my personal media engagement team as well. We're going to get Rupee the endorsement video that she deserves. And just who the hell decided on that Don? Privity will be taking those assets in order to further the cause for Privity supremacy and the skin that she deserves to overshadow her mediocre one. Uh, guys? Shut the hell up, Barack. Learn to live in the shame of midskins with Privity and have some self-respect about it. Guys, listen. As opposed to wasting a perfectly good opportunity on the dumb crack whore of the season, God forbid we elevate women for their actual merit when deserved and not how much ass they can show on social media. God damn it, you two, shut up for a minute. Look, they uh, they dropped the results of this whole campaign like a few hours ago. Looks like some girl named Modernia won the popular vote. Huh, well, it's not the greatest choice in the world, but it's a decision that I can get behind. Modernia is rather deserving of the skin as well. Yeah, I can take a step back and agree that Modernia is a fine choice. Not exactly a more straightforward choice, but a great choice nonetheless. Man, you want to talk about pure elitist choosing? Imagine the thought process for choosing a pilgrim. Yeah, um, aren't the pilgrims in this game supposed to be super rare? What makes Modernia so special that people would want to vote for her other than being super rare and super strong in this game? How far have you got into the story mode, Joe? Uh, I'm like at the beginning of chapter three right now. I kind of keep forgetting to go back into it since there's so much more else to do. Then don't ask questions about characters that you haven't reached yet. All I will say is that you find Modernia in the process of the story. I'm not going to spoil anything, and Obama better not say a goddamn thing either. My lips are sealed on this. Joe, you should definitely make more effort to get through the story of the game. You need to start learning about the lore of this game already and stop getting wrapped up in just doing dailies. 
Looks like your girl Privity gets the most advice from the community. I wonder if that's because she's such a dumbass that everyone needs to keep their eyes on her. It's because people enjoy talking to her, Joe. People know a good woman when they see one, and when you find one, you want to spend as much time as possible with her. Looks like everyone loves Modernia more than a child. I will say I am surprised with how high leader is to make second place in bonding with players. Makes me question if we shouldn't place an FBI watch program in this game for the overwhelming amount of pedos that are running rampant around the community. Look at that. Little leader is the, the top user in her weapon class and the top supporter in this game. And yet you two ass clowns uh, deny the greatness that is little leader. Why can't the community properly get behind the one that deserves it and not some pure elitist bullshit for the few that actually own Modernia, let alone a single pilgrim? Pilgrims in this game are the creme de la creme for players Sleepy Joe. All anyone wants is to use the overwhelming strength they possess and play the quote unquote meta game rather than play the simple and rewarding waifu game instead. We are men of simple yet principled means, Donnie. We play for waifu and have proven that the game can be won without having to resort to mathematical tactics or precision team compositions. Just good old big titty women working together gets the job done for me. Really all you gotta do is just put some love and dedication in you with your girls and you're golden. Sucks to suck that people will pedestal pilgrims in this game, but I get it. Well, gentlemen, it's been a pleasure like always. Even if you're both fucking wrong in your mental processes of how anyone could be better than Rupee, but I'll catch you both later. I'm gonna go order a few Big Macs and drown my sorrows into a gallon of Diet Coke over how the community could be so wrong on this. Still fine with the results, don't get me wrong. This is a good compromise on the vote over my precious Rupee, but I still want to recount with proper endorsing this time. Well, I, I can live with the results as well. Looking forward to seeing what the developers drop for Modernia. I don't even know who this bitch is, and I'm supposed to um, be happy with this? Maybe if you actually progressed in the campaign, then you'd get your answer, Joe. Go do some grinding already. Leader deserves this, and you know it. I'm with Don. We need a recount. I have plenty of dead people that I can unearth to help sway the ballots if I need to. And with that, I'm out. The results are fine. Live with it, Joe. Don't worry, old girl. You're still number one to me. You'll get your skin one day, and it'll be epic as hell. Maybe uh, you'll get a nice ball gown, like what Helm and Dulla got. Wouldn't that be lovely? One day you will fall leader. Then I'll have my Joey bear back. And we'll go back to binge watching Friends while he figures out where he's at. Just like the good days. I will not be upstaged by a tiny anime woman with an adorable hard hat. Kobe. No one threatens the love I have for Leader. It is eternal. Thank you all for your patience and waiting for this video to get out. Unfortunately, the creator of these videos was sick for a week. And then life and work got in the way. So it ended up stalling his ability to get these out. Now that he's better and things seem to be fine, we're all back to work to bring you solid Nikkei entertainment. We'll see you all in the next episode with our first tier list to follow. Thank you everyone and may God bless you all.